I know the address to your studio. Tell all your workers to go home. Tell all your security to go home. Just have your wife there. Have her naked sitting there. I don't necessarily consider myself above interviewing somebody who's clearly going through some sort of crisis mentally. You know, sometimes those people, they want to do content and it is what it is. But what is happening with Fusi is one of the saddest things i ever seen. He's talking about the cops want to lock him up. They should. But you, you need to go to a mental hospital. That's it. No interviews, no podcasts are going to help things. Hot tea, hot tea, hot tea, oh. hot tea, hot tea. So if y'all don't know, for the last couple of days, Fuzi has been wilding out again, all right? He's been arrested multiple times, sent to, like, mental hospitals for 24 hours. He got permanently banned from kick and he's been threatening to delete himself while also promoting a new album and a single this dude has been all over the place i think he's still in australia so while begging for drake to call him he's been going back and forth with various creators sneeko and now he's going back and forth with the 22 stir now he called this video Fousey exposing Adam 22. I'll let y'all be the judge of that. Like the video and subscribe. He needs to hear me. His peasant ears can't hear me. Adam 22. Hey, listen to me, you cuck. You let a black man fuck your wife and post a video on the internet and then interviewed him on the podcast and you're talking and saying I'm mentally ill? Brother. Brother, brother, look in the mirror, okay? Repent to God, because the devil has his hands on you. And if you want to talk like you're talking online, Adam, I know the address to your studio. Tell all your workers to go home. Tell all your security to go home. Just have your wife there. Have her naked sitting there. Drop the Addy. I'll be there. Tell me the time. And no one gets to leave until one of the others can't. I'll do that. Hey, no diddy, man. No diddy. What is he talking about? By the way, uh, DDG, we need an explanation for you giving Fousey the N-word pass. Because that's another thing he's been doing. He's been saying the N-word. He went on Casa that stream saying the N-word, okay? By the way, he also said he's got a video that's going to come out exposing the industry and what they did to XX Tentacion and what they did to this artist who passed away and that one. And the Illuminati is going to be after him, protect him. He said he cut off his parents. And now, like I said, he's going off on Adam. And it sounds like he's trying to do a little Diddy freak off. Why his wife got to be there? Why she got to be naked? I struggle when it comes to Fousey because on one hand, I know he's the author of going on YouTube and creating fake videos, fake drama, etc. But then on the other hand, I'm like, would he actually crash out purposely for a clout? Now, I don't know his financial situation, but... I'm assuming when he's building up all of this hype on the internet, he has some way to make money off of this. So that's why I'm saying like, oh, is it fake? Is he just doing this for attention? But at the same time, I mean, getting arrested multiple times, going to the mental hospital multiple times. Does this dude really need help? And if he needs help, why do people keep letting him back on the internet? Why do he keep getting deals on these various streaming platforms? Now, I don't know if he's banned from Twitch. I know he's banned from Kick. I don't know about his status on YouTube, but I, I just, I don't understand Fousey. And also, I think in his head, he thinks more people are paying attention to this than they really are. I think 
people in the streaming world and maybe his old fans are paying attention to this, but I don't think this is like national news. Like Fousey cra crashing out is not bigger than the election. You know what I mean? So I don't know. We'll see if we get a response from the 22ster. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.